Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel and today I will be reacting to Riverdale Season 4, Episode 12 and this season has, you know, it's still kind of enjoyable and if my calculations are correct, this episode is kind of featuring, featuring a crossover with Katie Keene. Um, so I'm interested how they do that considering Katie Keene is set five years in the future. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this episode and let's go. FYI. Smithers and I are road tripping to New York tomorrow. Oh, what's the occasion? I have an interview at Barnard College, if you must know. And of course, I'll be going on a shopping spree beforehand to find the right outfit to impress. Holy sh... Thanks. Tell me you're not selling drugs again. Tony, Kevin and I started this little side hustle. Oh man. Your principal refuses to believe that I acted alone. That's typical. What's the punishment? Well, honey, you're suspended for a week and stripped of your editor in chief. Brett is afraid of me. Why? Apparently, you cracked open his head with a golf club. All right, I did do that. <laughs> She's like, oh yeah, I did do that. Well, let's find out if he's a killer, too. Alice and Betty teaming up. I'm down for this. Actually, like, I legit am. He's definitely the leader of the pack. Okay, well, where do we begin? We have missing students, evil preppies, dead writers, a teacher suicide, parent suicide. Chipping didn't leave a note. Jim? Oh, slow down, slow down. Wait, wait, wait. What happened to Ducky? I, well, I don't understand. How can he be dead, too? That doesn't make any. Oh! Oh, how did he know? What the hell's going on? But then as the years went on, oh, he no. um, felt like he had an albatross around his neck. But hadn't he just finished his last book? What it's like when the past comes knocking. As a vet and as a serpent, I've been in a couple of bar fights with these ultramarine types. They're tough bastards. Big Eddie. to Mr. Jones. One Weston Wallace is our victor. <sighs> if it isn't Katie Keene. Oh, oh. So good to see you. It has been way too long, girl. I know something that is going to make you even happier. I got the buzz. Everybody's going to know. Everybody's going to see. Everywhere turn all eyes on me. Oh. Son. Broke the code, Frank. You can't break something that's already been shattered to bits, Tim. What? Welcome to the Maple Club. Now this is my kind of joint. Of course it is. Met. And what brings you to our establishment this evening, Mr. St. Clair? Oh yeah, we remember you. Throw small berry laundry was published. Me? I mean, I was, I was pretty messed up. Mm. And Mr. Chipping suggests I look into the military. I'm sorry. Uh, What's your connection to Mr. Chipping? You recruited me. I thought... Uh, Brett videotaped me having sex in our dorm room with a classmate. He was lording it over me and threatening to release it anyway. Do you have a tape of me and Jughead? <gasps> oh my god! Mom? <laughs> Calm Alice. Down. Moose said that it was filmed in this room. Did you tell there's always long distance? Totally, and that's what my best friend Betty and Herbo are doing, and they're making it work, so. What about you and your brawny boxer, K.O.? Mm -hmm. Well, we are a real thing now. <laughs> and she's she's getting treatments, and she's, oh, she's being so strong. But, um, they, they caught it late, so we're just, we're not sure what's gonna happen. Here today at the Maple Club. Mm. You mean Nick Sinclair? <gasps> Sophomore year, Nick came to Riverdale one weekend looking for a party. 
All need is a coffin for Jones. Oh. The one I buried him in way back when. Round one begins. Wait, now. wait. He just tased. For the second. Yeah. yeah. Woo! Place got a glass jaw. Told you we weren't gonna need rounds. Mr. Jones! You still got me. You sure? <laughs> if that tape exists, we have to find it. Okay. Oh. Oh. Kevin. What the hell is happening? <laughs> Security in the school. You're a terrible writer, Brett. So now, I'm not going to accept your terms. This is a duel about honor. And so oh, that works too. Foresight! 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 There was one there with foresight! Oh no. You're trespassing. And you are illegally recording people having sex. And this is your tape of me and Jack Whoa, 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 wait. What the hell is going on? No, no, that allows me to put you in the- Checkmate, yeah. Why? Why would you do that? Because I'm done playing this game, Brett. That's game over, Mr. DuPont. Brett wins this duel. It's the cloud of doubt that he never- actually won, Jughead just called the game for his own thing of just like, you know what, screw you, I'm leaving. It wasn't one fair and square, so Brett, cloud of doubt over you, honey. But I think it's important that you know, we didn't go to New York on business. We went to see a doctor, a specialist. He ran some tests and he confirmed that your father has a disease. Oh. What? What? What kind of disease? Ooh. It's a new one. Where the hell am I? Huh. Who the hell are you? I bet you say that to all the boys. It's okay. Now we understand. Oh. Things got pretty wild last night. You better not show that to anyone, you bitch. Or I'll- Or you'll what? Exactly. Now listen up, worm. Woman. Because if you do, I will let the whole world see what was done to you. I will ruin you. <laughs> so, so Nick is what we in the tickle business would call a first class squealer. <laughs> Kevin's just like, yep, I'm gonna do it behind me. I'm too busy watching him get tickled. <laughs> Clear schedules and mark your calendars for August 15th. A very special day. Special in what way? It's when Barnard welcomes its incoming freshman class, including a certain Veronica Lodge. Veronica. Wow. Going to New York, seeing Katie, it reminded me of something I was missing. You are not a damsel in distress. But I'll murder Brad if he actually has a tape of us. Speaking of tapes, I did manage to sneak something out of the Quillen school room. A Whoa. videotape lit. Wait, what's going on? This is exactly what Donna told me about Mr. Chipping, except wait for this part. And I was so scared, I told him if he didn't stop, I'd go to the headmaster. I'd never seen Mr. Carter so mad. And he got Aggressive. What? Me. She's lying, Jug. It's rehearsed. This is a rehearsed speech Donna has given at least twice. But I think we need to be more worried about Donna. The one that was in Jughead's side. Spanner. Meet work. Spanner in the work. Wow. You know what?
I want to call it and say that was a really good episode of Riverdale, right? Some of Archie's storyline always seems kind of off, but in terms of everything else, that was a really, really good and enjoyable episode. I'm more hooked on the whole Betty and Jughead storyline side. I think Veronica is the only one that's actually focused on college at the moment, and that's what her storyline's kind of for. Wow, it just legit started raining pretty freaking hard outside, so that's what you hear in the background, but I'm going to finish off my little conclusion. Um, the Archie storylines just never seem to stack the landing, like, or stick the landing. They always kind of stack it and fumble, and, you know, they kind of brought Freddie in, and I thought he was going to be a bit more of a mentor, but then they gave him a bit of drama, and now he's kind of just gone. I love the twist at the end where they're like, we probably should consider Donna. Like, that was a good thing, because no one would expect it, and I loved that. So, I'm really excited. From what I can guess, and the titles of the episode, I'm assuming the whole Jughead thing is going to happen within the next two episodes. I'm guessing. So, it's coming. It's getting really soon. Um, so, yeah, be ready for that. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Make sure to click subscribe. And if you are intending to watch Katie Keen, enjoy it. Have fun with it. I know I won't be reacting to it, but I still kind of do want to watch it because I love Lucy Hale. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.